Okay guys, so today is one of those lucky days because I have managed to have two, not one, but two direct visuals on a male Dideri Kuko. The first one, it was a bit distant, but with the focal uh, range or focal length that I have, I managed to get something that is usable. The second uh, instance, I got it. I was actually give up following on it and it was just behind me on that tree and uh, the sky is really overexposed the clouds are white and black nimbus clouds a sign of rain so with that kind of a uh, sky you don't expect to get good pictures and the timing when i'm shooting is also not the best because this is the time that i can manage to come out and shoot okay i'll it again i'll see you again I'm taking a small detour from the main video so that I can uh, appreciate and uh, recognize uh, three lovely sponsors that makes my production of these videos that you watch possible. And this is not in any chronological order. And that is Capture Namibia, Etosha Safari Sunday, and finally Green Space Namibia. In this video, I'm going to talk about Capture Namibia and on the subsequent videos I would urge you to make sure you watch those videos so that you can appreciate also the role of my two other sponsors that is Etosha Safari Sunday and Green Space Namibia. I would also encourage you to watch videos from Etosha Safari Sunday by clicking here, videos from Capture Namibia clicking here and finally I'll send a uh, Facebook link on the comment section below so that you can watch or rather follow Evis Green Space on Facebook. Photography can be very addictive and you notice that as you start venturing into this hobby it becomes very expensive simply because there are very many genres of photography or other videography. You'll notice I, I'll use most of these 
these two words photography videography concurrently because i'm trying to send the same message all right the first one i like is wildlife photography now you notice in wildlife photography your subject is at a distance and you need to keep a safe distance between yourself and the subject so that you can get a reasonable shot that is usable In that kind of photography, use lenses like the 600 millimeter, 400 millimeters, 800 millimeters, or if you have to go lower, you'll have to use the 200 millimeters. When you use this focal lens, the low focal lens, like the 600, 200 millimeters, then the use of teleconverters, the 1.4, the two times converter, comes in. But you also have to notice the disadvantages and advantages of using teleconverters. <coughs> Oh, the things. If we leave wildlife photography and go to the next general photography, which is macro photography, to get details on those small subjects like the insects, the uh, ants, you know, fabric, flowers, petals, name them. And in that kind of photography, you need a totally different kind of lenses. Lenses that has got high magnification, but still maintaining the quality of the image that you need. Going further, behind me is landscape. For landscape photography, you need wide angle lenses like the 8 to 11 millimeters. You either need the 14 millimeters or the 24 millimeters, and finally, 35 millimeters. 50 on the other side could be a bit tight for landscape photography. Living landscape photography, there's another epic and amazing kind of photography which is called the astro photography. And this kind of photography is very challenging because your, sub your subjects, the stars, the moon, and the Milky Way produce the least amount of light. And you need lenses that can open up to give you wide apertures that can help you to freeze the, the sun, to freeze the moon, the stars without causing blur on the stars. And then there's the camera bodies. For example, the video I'm shooting, you're watching now, I'm shooting on a 5D Mark IV, 4K, that you can always crop and zoom in without having a second shooter shooting you, like I'm doing now. And if you're doing sports, you need camera bodies that can shoot faster, for example, 10 frames per second, or going up as much as 20 or 30 frames per second. And in that area, you're thinking of the 7D Mark IIs, the 5D Mark IVs, and the R3s or the R1s, whichever that will be available. And that brings me to the role of my sponsor. Now, you realize that owning all these equipments could be very expensive. And it's not reasonable to buy all this equipment. And that's where the first sponsor comes in, Capture Namibia. Capture Namibia provides you with three solutions to your videography and photography needs. That is, they provide you with sale of new and used camera equipment. They provide you with rentals of a variety of equipments, ranging from camera bodies, 
lenses, action camera, Insta360, GoPros, DJI Osmos. They provide you with lighting solutions for your kind of photography if you are doing portrait photography, which I forgot to mention. They also provide you with studio setup for your photography needs, all right? If there's anything you need to rent that will help you in meeting objective, you need to consult Capture Namibia. And finally, Capture Namibia provides you with printing solutions for your printing needs. So let's say you want to print in a A4 uh, canvas or you want to print on a photographic paper, you need to consult Capture Namibia at info at captainamibia.com. Capture Namibia is situated at Yangtze Village, second floor, Sam Nuyama Drive, off Nelson Mandela Avenue. Visit Captain Namibia and get solutions to your video needs. Okay, guys, let's go back to our video and continue with tracking the Dedede Kuko. Subscribe. So that marks the end of day three on this series whereby I'm following the Dederic Kuko. I managed to get two shots, uh, basically videos. Join me on yet another exciting, educative, and explorative travel adventure series, Trails on Africa. Hashtag Bad Life over Dedere Kuko. Please remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, adios. I leave you with this. Happiness is what you make it be. Life is good. Just find fun in it. When you find it, keep doing it. For me, I leave you this. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Finally, we talk of uh, And then there's the other kind of photography, which is action, sports and wildlife. Where hi, hi, hi. Sapachi mama, kiti mati matatu.